beat is really good. Welcome back to my channel. This is Delia right here. We are collaborating together to bring you guys a bunny makeup tutorial. Isn't hers so freaking cute? Oh my god, I love it so much. Um, we're collaborating together. Make sure to check out her links in the description down below to check out how to get her look. Onto my look, I decided to do something just a little bit more simple. I was inspired by a Snapchat filter that I saw. I'm going to be starting off by making the headpiece, which is just a headband. I have a headband from, oh my goodness, I got the headband at Target. And this fluffy stuff right here is just from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm just wrapping this around to make the bunny ears. In the Snapchat filter, the bunny ears were extremely fluffy. So when I saw this, I thought it was perfect for this look. So that is what I am doing right now, just wrapping everything around. And then I'm just gonna cut off the excess. And those are my bunny ears. Super bougie, you know? <laughs> now on to the makeup. I'm starting off by priming my face with this Smashbox primer. And then I am trying out for the first time this Fit Me Dewy Foundation. This is actually for dry skin. I decided to get the one for dry skin rather than oily skin. Um, only because I've been having... I guess my skin's been dry lately. I don't know. I took the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just using a white paint in all the areas where the cheeks would be much bigger for a bunny. And then I highlighted the rest of my face with the white. The only place I avoided was basically underneath my eyes. So I'm just blending that in. And then we're going to set everything with a powder. And I used this Urban Decay Illumination Powder because I want this to be like a glowy kind of bunny. And then I use such this cute, 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 cute blush from Milani. I'm gonna be using this blush for a lot of this look. I used this on my nose, on my cheeks, and I did use it on my forehead, and you'll see in a second, I'll use it on my eyes. But I'm just going to fill in my brows with this blonde brow gel from MAC. And excuse the talking if you guys hear any talking downstairs. That's everybody downstairs trying to figure out what to eat for dinner. <laughs> so I filled in my brows really kind of super natural, fluffy like. And then I took some white paint from that Makeup Forever Flash palette and just added that on top in little strokes. So I just essentially followed the brow hairs to create kind of like a fluffy, more hairier brow. I'm then taking the pink paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I am creating just a little pink nose. I took some white paint on top of the pink nose and blended that in just to make it look like it's popping a little bit more out. And then here I am again, I'm taking just this brownish pink color from the May Maybelline from the Milani blush and I'm blending that in the inner corners and also the crease of my eye and also underneath my eye. And then to finish off the eyeballs, I took this MAC shadow, I think it's the Extra Dimension shadow. This is from their Snowball collection. If you guys want to see swatches on that collection, I did do a whole video on all the stuff that MAC had sent me. <laughs> but I'm just putting that on the lid, and then I put a little bit on my cheeks, and now we're moving on to lashes and the lips. For the lips, I did something just a little bit different, so I filled in my lips as I normally would with a lip liner, but instead of going all the way out to the sides, I decided to kind of almost make the lips look slightly doll-like, and then I filled them in with a Note Cosmetics lipstick and topped it off with this model's own glitter, and I did go over it a little bit with the eyeshadow the, from MAC. And then I'm brightening up my eyes and making them look bigger with some white eyeliner, and then I got these little heart rhinestones from Michaels, and I'm just going to be sticking them on. These unfortunately didn't hold as well as some of their rhinestones usually do, so I did end up having to put some lash glue underneath, which they held perfectly after that. And once I'm done putting all those rhinestones on, I jumped over to some glitter. This is the Tarte Eye Jewels, and I'm using the silver one. I'm using it underneath my eyes, and then I also used it as a couple of freckles along with those little heart rhinestones. And I put on the bunny ears, guys, and that completed this look. And you'll see in just a second, one of the jewels fell off. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I love how this turned out. It's so, so cute. Throw a little blood on it. It won't be as cute. You know, if you want to go for something like that. Don't forget to subscribe right here and click on this playlist here for all of my abstract Halloween videos, fun stuff, glitter. Click on that playlist right here to find all of that. Thanks guys again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.